Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a little cake topper. We're just going to use some flour and modelling paste because it dries nice and hard. So I've got some white stuff here that I've used um, and I've just dyed mine a pale pink. I've also got a polystyrene ball that we're going to use for the head because the head's going to be quite top heavy. Um, you can use Rice Krispie Treats that you've made into a ball shape. For this one, because it's not going to get eaten, I'm just going to use a polystyrene ball. So we're just going to start by making a little cone shape with our pink. So nice and simple, like that. So it's not a perfect cone, it's not pointy at the top, it's still quite rounded because our head is just going to sit on the top of there like so. I'm just going to use white for this. So just making sure you've got enough that we can roll out and cover the ball with. So I'm going to use this amount and I'm just going to pinch it out a little bit so that it will start to go around my ball shape. And we're just going to put a bit of water on the inside of there. And we're going to push this now around. Now obviously it doesn't look big enough so we're going to keep pulling it around just gradually stretching it until it covers the ball. Okay, so once you've rounded it off, remember which bit you want to keep to the bottom and in fact what I'll do is put a cocktail stick in the bottom so that I remember which bit I want as the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to check it's not taller than my body, the bit of the cocktail stick that I've got stuck out. Now obviously if you've got Rice Krispie Treats in the head rather than polystyrene it might be that you want to put something in that's edible rather than a cocktail stick so that nobody's going to choke on it. So we're just going to roll a ball of white. We're just going to squash it a little bit. I'm going to add a bit of water to the back. And we're going to stick it onto the front of the face. So I've just stuck it just lower than halfway down the face, I think. And we're going to want a bit more pink now for a nose. Okay, so stick your piece of pink at the top of your nose like so. Okay, so I'm just going to push in two eyes where I want its eyes to go. Or two holes even where I want its eyes to go. This is the tricky bit, or the bit I always find tricky is getting them even. Quite often they end up uneven. And I'm going to put a bit of water in each of the eye sockets. And then we're just going to roll two black circles to go in. So taking a ball of white again, we're just going to squash it down. Or you can use a cutter if you prefer to use a cutter. I do apologise, I've got black all over my hands from the uh, eyes. Um, again, I put down my knife and I can't find my knife, so I'm using this blade instead. Just to cut, you can use a knife, that's fine. So we're cutting that in half and we're going to stick those as eyelids. So a bit of water on each. And I'm just going to put those over each eye, just at a slight angle. So back to our black again, and we're just going to make some little eyelashes. So we're just going to roll out Oh, piece nice and thin. And I'm going to cut that in half. Try and get it similar thickness at either end if you can. And we'll just, in fact, not rather than in half, we'll just take out that middle bit. We don't need the middle bit. And we'll just use the end pieces. And we're just going to put a little bit of water at the edge of where our eyelids come to. And then we're going to try and gently pick those up best to get them to stick to the brush if you can and we'll just bring those round to the angle you want them to go to and just do the same on the other side and then add more eyelashes if you want more eyelashes I think I'll just add another one to each side so taking two tiny pieces of white I've just rolled them into tiny little sausage shapes and we're just gonna put on couple of little eyebrows with it. So I've just put water on where I want to stick them. And then we're gonna do some little pink cheeks using some dusts. So I've just got some petal craft dust on a dry paintbrush here. I'll put a link to where you can get that from below in the description. So we're just gonna brush a small amount on each cheek 
Again, this is where I sometimes end up a little bit lopsided. So what we're going to do now is just attach this to the body. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the top here. You can use edible glow if you prefer. And we're going to push this into the body. Just make sure that it stays upright. So you don't want it so that it's going to lean forward. So at the moment mine's leaning forward a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it slightly further back in the body now. So that fits now a bit better, like so. You won't be able to see it very well from this angle, so what I'll do is I'll lie it down for the time being. So that's what it looks like. You can make yours stood up. And we're going to do some feet now. So taking two balls of white, we're just going to roll them slightly and squash them down a little bit so that they're a little bit narrower at the bottom than at the top. Taking a cocktail stick, we're just going to push into the tops of each foot just twice. So I've just gone back to the pink and I've cut out two little love hearts which we're going to stick now at the bottom of each foot. So just a little bit of water where you're going to put them, not too much like I've put them. And we're just going to place that in the bottom of the foot there. We're going to stick them to the front of our little rabbit. Again, just put in a little bit of water where we're going to push them. And we're just going to put them in place like so. Taking some white, we're going to roll it out now for the ear. And I've just got an oval cutter that we're just going to use. I'm just going to roll it slightly to make it a little bit longer than what it is from the cutter. Now I've made one earlier so I'll just see what that one's like against that one. And then taking some pink, we're going to do the same for the centre. We're going to use a smaller oval this time. So we'll have a look, see how much we need to roll it out by. So that's about right. So a little bit of water or edible glue on the back. push those into place and then we're going to put some water or edible glue on the top of each ear and we're going to push those onto the back of the rabbit's head so just at the back like so so I'm just going to hold those on for a few minutes to keep them in place and when you know they're secure you can let go so I've just popped a glass behind my little bunny for the time being, just while it's drying, just in case it decides that it wants to lean, it can't go anywhere. And we're going to make it some little arms. So again, just taking your white modelling paste, we'll start with two pieces. Try and get them similar in size. And we're literally just going to roll these so they become a little bit thinner at one end than at the other. Try and get them similar in length to each other. And hold them against the side to see if it fits. Now, I know you can't see very well from that angle, so I'm just going to stick them at either side of the body, and then I'll show you from the front what it looks like. And we need to add a tail as well, so we'll get the tail ready. Again, we're just going to have a round ball now. My ears are in the way of the back of the bum, so we're going to have to squeeze them sort of in between the ears and onto the bum. Which again, you won't be able to see very well, I'm afraid, from the video. But I'm going to put a bit of water on. And I'm going to squish this into the back. It's quite tucked away on the model anyway, even if I show you from a different angle. So I'm going to put some water now on the inside of each arm. And we're literally just going to push it onto the body at either side. Okay, so I'll show you from another angle now so you can see it a little bit better. And there it is finished. Thank you for watching.
If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.